Welcome back to Swack on the Street. Uh, let's turn to the chips, the ongoing competition heating up as NVIDIA and AMD both unveil new AI products just over the weekend. Joining us now to discuss Wall Street's top chips analyst, Stacey Raskin of Bernstein Research, has an outperform on NVIDIA, price target 1300 market perform on AMD, price target 140 Stacey, good to see you. Um, good to be here. They're moving now at a clip at NVIDIA. I mean, I'm curious to get your thoughts, given how you've watched their product cycles through the years. But each year now or, or, or more, we're going to get an introduction of a new chip, or at least the idea of a new chip, before the existing chip we just heard about has even hit the market? Well, so that, that's right. So, so we, we've known for a while that NVIDIA is moving to an annual product cadence. This is faster than what they did before. They used to be on a call it a two- to three-year cycle. Um, they are moving to an annual cycle. Now, we, we've known that, and they've now given us a tease of, of some of the products that are coming year over year over year on, on that full-year cycle. And, and again, it was just a tease at this point. To your point, we, we've just really learned details about the, the current next generation, which is called Blackwell. Um, and it's, that hasn't even really started shipping yet. That's kind of like a second half of this year. And But we've got a bit of a tease on what's coming next. But yes, they are... Clearly moving to an annual campaign. And is it enough to, to uh, make you believe they, they will continue to maintain their unrivaled position? Well, so it's, it's funny. So you go look at AMD. So AMD is now apparently on an annual cadence as well, right? Yep. Um, I would argue just, just given the, the differences in scale, it's going to be harder for AMD to, 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 to do that. I mean, but they probably have no choice given the acceleration in the roadmaps that NVIDIA has 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 done. Um, and again, you can look at some of the announcements that AMD made. So they've, they've got a new one coming out. I think it's the, the, the one end of this year. It's called the MI325, which is basically a version of their current part, which is called the MI300, but it's got more high bandwidth memory. Okay. Um, that may put it a little closer to NVIDIA, what's called, there's too many code names here, but it'll put it closer yeah. to... The H200, but I don't think it will yet be competitive with Blackwell, which is what NVIDIA will be launching around the same time. Um, and we'll have to see how AMD can compare, but it's going to be a tough thing for AMD to, to keep up. But they're clearly they're going to have to try, and they're, they're going to do their best. They're doing them. Yeah. You know, I, I, for our viewers' point of view, can you give a sense as to, you know, the, the, uh, the jump in terms of computing power and anything else that you think is an important metric from the H200 to Blackwell to whatever the, this, to Rubin, whatever. Yeah, How yeah. big a jumps are we talking about in terms of technology? You bet. So um, H, H100, H200, those are all um, versions of NVIDIA's current architecture, which is called Hopper. Blackwell is the next version, and it's anywhere from, call it 3 to 30x, depending on what you're doing with it, uh, the jump from Hopper to Blackwell. I don't know what, you know, Blackwell Ultra or Rubin or anything will will do um, in terms of actual numbers at this point, um, but they will clearly be be more, right? With every generation, NVIDIA has been pretty good at ramping up the performance up pretty materially. Um, with AMD, again, the same thing. I, I don't know exactly what. I, I think they said um, the MI350, which is what they have coming in 2025, it was supposed to be 35 times better inference performance. Right. than the MI300. Again, you don't exactly know what that means in practice. Those are sort of marketing numbers. The performance will be better, though, presumably, and I guess the MI426 will be even better. How they will compare versus what NVIDIA will be shipping, that's right. I don't think we know yet. Um, but the gap is still reasonably wide right now, and, and you know, again, NVIDIA's probably got more resources to put against this. AMD's going to, I mean, they're going to do their best. I'm not, I'm not saying they're not doing well for what they are. Um, but at the same time, it is a tough race to, to, to fight, I think.